What's up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is a glorious 85 degrees here in Wisconsin and I'm at a landscaping job where I'm just doing some renovation of uh, all of the beds that they have in their front and backyard, tearing out all of the weeds, mulching and planting new plants. And I came across a mother load of jumping worms. If you guys don't know what these are, let's take a look and find out why you don't want them in your garden and why they're a incredible invasive species that you do not want at any cost. So as I'm digging up the soil here, we got a bunch of these worms that, as you can tell, they're kind of a little bit more hyperactive than the, the normal worm that you would see in your garden. And then they're also right up on top of the surface. That's why these things are so dangerous, aside from just their sheer population numbers that they get, um, is they'll go up on top of the surface and leave your soil like this coffee ground texture and eat up all of the organic matter up in the surface that's decaying and should be feeding your plants. Um, they'll just take all of that away, which we absolutely do not want. And take a look at that band right on the end. It's a lot lighter than normally, and it is also not raised off of their body at all. And they just go crazy. Um, we've got all kinds of them out here. You can see they just really, really freak out. So their characteristics is they're pretty easy to identify when you see the way that they move and um, when you find them right over the surface, like I said earlier. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can do with jumping worms except for preventative care to make sure you don't get them in your garden in the first place. In order to do that, just make a really good inspection of any plants that you're putting into your yard, any soil, mulch, any sort of biological matter that the worms might be inside of. Take a really close look. They start off really, really small in the spring, so that's when it's, and particularly the most, most dangerous time is springtime when you probably won't be able to see them. Um, but just inspect your stuff before you get anything into your yard. If you know you don't have jumping worms yet, that's the best thing you can do for yourself to avoid this problem because these things will just destroy an environment and destroy your soil, again, by eating up all that biological matter on the top surface of the soil. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys stay jumping worm free. Happy gardening.